how many of you book tickets on bookmyshow.com we all do right okay now assume this computer you are going to book my show and doing some uh, booking right where all do you think cyber attacks can happen and what kind of attacks can happen i'll repeat the question i want you to think of this you are going to a booking website ticket booking website and booking what all places on the process do you think attackers can hack payment page payment page give a good round of applause to him that is one of the key areas attackers focus right because the that area is where you put in credit or debit card information good payment related information on the payment page then login login page sql injection or brute force attacks or bypass methods irkan we will be able to see in a login page give a good round of applause to him then domain spoofing domain spoofing did i go to bookmyshow.com only right because the domain looks exactly like bookmyshow but it it probably is not it could be a phishing page right so give a good round of applause to him also anyone else search queries and other parameters in the url sir search queries and other parameters of the uh, url good which is otherwise called the query poisoning attack right okay. query poisoning attack so <clears throat> say for example you are searching a movie right and in the movie there is a option where you book uh, for five people you get some discount 10 people you get different discount when you select 10 there is a parameter going about that but what if i select one person and put that parameter directly for one person i may be able to get the discount of the 10 people which means that they have to pay me for me booking a page i mean a ticket yes or no could be a potential attack give a good round of applause to him seat manipulation seat manipulation give a good round of applause i'll tell you what if i book a ticket i will log in using google and book okay when i log in using google and book i can actually see in the same ticket space if any of my friends are in the same theater booked in the thing does it make sense because google account has your contacts that contact has he booked the ticket so in the theater uh, screen layout you can see your booking is here and you can see six of your friends on the eighth uh, line you are in the 10th line so what you will do you will want to catch up with them yes or no so this is a option they had earlier but like what he is saying seat manipulation could be attack i buy one ticket for one seat and end up having 10 seats possible right there is another very interesting attack we saw in one uh, uh, client uh, application they used a coupon code called june 80 j u n e 80 if you use this coupon code on their e-commerce site their products discount 80% will happen you will get 80% product discount do you understand now what i did is randomly i put june 80 not me my team okay right? june 80 apply it got applied i was very happy they pressed apply 3 4 times it applied 4 times they, we actually got 320% to discount imagine that what does that mean every time we purchase either they have to pay us or our wallet gets loaded yes or no very scary and interesting at the same time yes or no okay what else idor idor what is idor idor stands for insecure direct object reference for example think of this I'll, simplest form i'll explain idor right you are logged in into your gmail from that gmail you download a pdf right Thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity